Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 video. Today, I will be playing the all-new third-person game mode in Modern Warfare 2. I gotta say, seeing a third-person game mode in Call of Duty is definitely interesting. Obviously, Call of Duty is traditionally a first-person shooter, and now it looks like Infinity Ward wants to break the mold and make a game mode where Modern Warfare 2 becomes third-person. Alright, here we go! Without further ado, third-person mode. This is really interesting. I feel like I'm playing GTA or, or, or something. I really like seeing my entire operator, though. Kind of interesting how when you ADS, you go into first person, though. Oh, and there's a guy right there. This is really, really interesting. All right, let's check our corners here. I feel like we might be able to check our corners a little bit easier now because you have this third person camera like this. <laughs> like that. We can kind of peek around corners more. That guy's down too. All right, let's see. Whoa, we're gonna... Whoa, I'm floating! I'm floating! What is happening to my game? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Uh, I'm not dead? Oh, there's a trip mine! Okay, well, now I'm dead. But... I... I... The, I okay, that was... I, I have no words. Okay, but we got a UAV there. We went on a little bit of a streak. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, I by the way, I completely forgot. Hardpoint is in the game now, and I completely forgot that's what we're supposed to be playing. So, yeah, we gotta go secure the hardpoint. Oh, guy right there. I think I need to try to... Oh, no, hip fire. No, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try doing hip fire accuracy, see if I can kill somebody in third person, but... I don't know, I feel like there should be a pseudo aim down sights still in third person mode though, you know what I mean guys? I feel like third person mode gives more people more reasons to buy operator bundles and certain skins for characters, because then you can actually see your whole guy in the game. So I, wow, I choked that game, uh, I choked that gunfight. Also I just realized my face cam is covering up the score, so there you go, you guys can see the score of the game now. I actually kind of like this, it's new, it's kind of strange, but... You know what, I think I can get used to this. This is a pretty fun and interesting take on Call of Duty. Let's go, team. Oh, this is a really small hard point. Oh, and the entire enemy team's coming this way. Woo! Okay, throwing grenades and stuff's kind of weird, but we'll live with it. Oh. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, I'm stunned. Uh, switch guns. Is that an enemy? I don't know. Oh. Hello? Oh, enemy right there. Oh, I gotta reload. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. But holy crap, guys, look at the score. We're kicking their ass right now, 139 to 7. We just gotta hop on this hard point right now. I gotta say, though, in third person, seeing the character animations and the character movement is really impressive. I really like the, uh, oh, and I'm dead. Dang it. Get out of here. Now back to what I was saying, seeing the third person animations of how the character moves around just shows you how good the motion capture actually is in this game. I'm really a fan of how the characters move around. It feels like an actual character moving. It feels like someone who should be in the military doing some sort of movement. Take that. All right, we can just kind of like chill right here like this and check the, uh, check the alley. Oh wait, someone's on the hard point? Hang on. Hang on a second, we gotta put our radar down. Where is this guy? There's two of them on the hard point. Oh, and I'm I'm dead. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. The game had a little bit of lag. I right, check our corners in third person mode. See who's around. See where this guy is on the hard point. Can't really tell. He's probably hiding behind that truck, right? Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay, he's dead. Oh, there he is. Got him. All right, let's get on. No. Ah, freaking cruise missile. But yeah, this definitely gives way for different play styles in the game too obviously we can check our corners with more field of view than we normally would in first person mode now that we're in third but yeah this is actually kind of fun uh i don't know how my guy just switched over oh you can click the left thumbstick to switch which side your camera goes on so if you want to have your camera on your left or your right you can do that oh that's actually pretty neat. Oh my god, that's the entire team! Alright, so then we switch the camera like this, check our corner right here. Oh, and there's a guy behind us, never mind. Yeah, so maybe I spoke too soon when I said earlier that we were kicking their ass. They definitely caught up, so we gotta, gotta do better here, team. Well, and just like that, it looks like they're about to take the lead, and they do. So, definitely gotta play a little bit better here. Oh, that's a drill! Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, dude, I can't see anything. Is this an enemy? 
I, that, that was an enemy. Okay, great. Enemy UAV up ahead. All right, well, we got to get on this hard point. We got to get this time. Looks like our team is actually cleaning up house here as we sit on the objective. We love it. You know me, guys. I love playing the objective, so... Yeah, let's get our team back into this game. All right, well, we are still in this game. Ooh, that was close. All right, we got to head over to this next hard point. This is the smallest one on the map. It's kind of weird. Oh, dang it. How did I not kill you? Wow. See, this is what I don't understand, right? I see everybody talking about how the time to kill is too fast, but yeah, I have situations like that where my time to kill isn't fast enough. You know what I mean? Okay, right here. I'm oh, no. He put a shock charge there. Get away from the shock charge. Oh, my God. And a flashbang. Bro, how am I not dead? <laughs> how the hell am I not dead? Well, GG to the other team. We lost the game 250 to 222. But even though we lost the game, I honestly had a fun time with third person mode. It's definitely going to take some getting used to, though, I will say. Some of the camera angles are a little bit funky, and switching from third person then back to first person when ADSing is kind of weird sometimes. But hey, it's kind of enjoyable. All right, let's see if we can hop into another game and kick some ass here in third person mode. And it looks like we're joining a game in progress. Or, well,. It's at the beginning, but I guess it already started. Get out of here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. A 12-gauge shotgun here. Third-person mode. This is going to be really weird. Oh, man. I feel like they added a lot more recoil to the Kostov 74U here. Okay, right here. Woohoo! There we go. Oh, guy in the window there. I wonder if he saw me. Oh, I tried to get him with the Semtex. Dang it, there's another guy. Throwing grenades in third-person mode is a little bit weird, I will say. It's kind of hard to get the trajectory of it. I wonder, can I ADS and then... Okay, no. I can't throw grenades that way, but... Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, I blew up the car and I killed him. That, that's nice. But yeah, I think throwing grenades in this uh, particular third-person mode is a little bit weird. Maybe it can be touched on a little bit. Maybe fixed and polished more. Oh, there we go. Ah. Oh, hey, what's up, enemy? Hey, what's up, other enemy? Yeah, I just really like these animations here in third person mode. I think they're really, really clean. Yeah, get out of here. This is my hard point. I'm going to get all this scrap time. Guy on the wall. Oh, yeah, they definitely put more recoil on the cast off here. <laughs> you know what? That guy started shooting at the wall because I bet you he knew. He knew I was there because of third person mode, right? Guys coming around the corner. Let's see if we can time this correctly. Wow, what a just weird throwing. What a weird, what a weird throwing animation for this. I, I don't know, just grenade grenades in this are just really scuffed. Yeah, like that should have gone way farther, I feel like. Guys gonna be coming around the corner, watch. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, get out of here. Aw, oh, dang, yeah. Third person in close quarter situations is a little bit weird, I will say. Uh, I, I feel like you don't have as much visibility as you probably should. But when it comes to situations like this, where I can, you know, peek around the corner with my wide field of view, then I think it's pretty decent. Like, I can peek around the corner here. And this guy's done for. Oh, and that guy's done for too. Coming from this way. Nope, there's no guy there anymore. Yep, no, there it is. Yep, there he is. There he is right there. Oh, good job, teammate. Oh, dolphin dive. Wow, hello. Yeah, I might have to switch back to my uh, M4 build here just so I can have a little bit more recoil control because I don't know what they did with this thing from the time the beta launched to now, but it definitely has more recoil than I like. But hey, I'm still doing all right with it. Oh, I got the double kill. That's okay. I got the double kill and cleared that for my team. All right, we got a care package as well. Let's throw that out. What's in my care package? Let's find out. We got a counter UAV. Yeah, let's mess with them a little bit. All right, let's hit the long flank over here. Oh, this guy had the same idea. All right, get out of here. All right, next hard point. We only need two more points to win the game. No problem, no problem. Dolphin dive. Aha. 
A much better game that time, winning 250 to 80 here in third person hardpoint. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was my first time playing the third person game mode in Modern Warfare 2. I think it's pretty unique and it's fun to play as well. It's definitely different because, like I said earlier, Call of Duty is traditionally a first person shooter game, so switching it over to third person is definitely interesting. Like I said, for the most part, this is pretty fun, but there are a couple of things that feel a little bit clunky. For example, throwing grenades is kind of weird, like I said earlier, I feel like I should be throwing them further. But because of the wide angle of third person, it's actually kind of hard to judge where you're going to be throwing your grenade. I like that you're able to switch the camera view from the left side of your body to the right. That way, if you're hiding behind a wall, you can glance over to the left or you can glance over to the right, depending on how you're positioned and depending on where you are on the map. In addition, I like the fact that I can see the full body of the operator that I'm playing as. In a way, I feel as if something like this would be really cool in Black Ops Cold War because that game has a ton of crazy skins and I'd like to see those skins in third person in real time in the game. Overall, I think it's a pretty good start for Infinity Ward implementing a third person game mode into Modern Warfare 2. But what do you guys think about the third person game mode in Modern Warfare 2? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways guys, that's it for this video and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer and check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world and I'll see you guys next time. Next time.